down here in Ohio. This is our second day down here. I guess it'd be my third day, right? Third day down in Ohio. Got all of our food pots planted. We had some rain this morning, so that's good. Really just cruising around the farm here in Ohio, checking some trail cameras, put out a little bit of mineral, kind of trying to get everything all squared away because next time we'll be back here, we'll be back hunting for the opener, which is September 24th. The 4th, so I'll be here Saturday. Isaiah will be here on Sunday, so checking batteries, putting batteries. We have uh, quite a bit of trimming we gotta do. We gotta cut some trees down, uh, pre-prepping some stands. Uh, for some mobile or some trees for some mobile sets. He's hunting out of a saddle. I'm going to be hunting out of a mobile stand If there's a tree we want to hunt, we're going to go in. We're going to prep it uh, Throw a ribbon around it just so we know we can come back I can find it in the dark for example in the rut or something if I had to that I know that that stands already pre-prepped uh, pre Farm is shaping up to be pretty good. Don't have a ton of big bucks on camera yet, but we got we got a couple to go after I'd say What do you think? Yeah, I would say we have I know at least one <laughs> one one at the yeah, moment at least but. one real optimistic <laughs> and just one for the moment but more will show up so. just, just one just <laughs> that one. sounds sadly <laughs> sadly R oh. rumor has it there were some 200s killed on this farm can i say that yeah i can say that yeah you can say that just not a couple couple 200s couple 200s yep the last tw it's been a while but the last 20 years has been a couple 200s a lot of over 160s so that's pretty pretty crazy. You said yeah. that this farm has a four and a half year old or 140 minimum, yep. and it's been that way for about 10 years. Yep. So yep. that's pretty cool to see that you and your neighbors, everybody around here has been managing for, for big, big deer. Yeah. And big then deer. first sitting on this plot, last year last you killed a 155 inch buck. Yep. First sit. So you've only hunted this farm a few times. Yeah. I have five sits <clears> in, but for that buck, I had, that was my second sit. So I was asking him all these questions, hitting him up, I'm like, hey, what do you think about this? What about this? He's like, dude, I sat it once. I sat one time. I was yeah. like, oh shit, yeah, I guess yeah. you. One time for a buck, really. Yeah. So, so this year's gonna be, if we don't tag early, it's gonna be a big learning experience to try to like learn this farm, figure out where the deer move. And I think we're gonna have 14 cameras on roughly 400 acres. Yeah. So a good amount of cameras. And we got, what, three three cells. Three cells. 11 and... regular ones, yep. something like that. So trying to just pick this farm apart, trying to learn it, trying to understand it. Obviously there's good deer, there's good genetics, there's good management, but Really just trying to like learn where the deer move, what what spots they like. Yeah. And like then, you like you said, figuring out where they come out of that food plot last year, put a camera yeah, there. Put a camera there and then after we find some good ones we'll kinda narrow it down. Yeah. And sink some more cameras into certain spots and Exactly. So that's cool, man. Yeah. yeah, it's. I'm excited. I'm excited you're letting me hunt down here this year. But it's gonna be... I'm rooting for you. I don't. I don't want to take your spots. I want. I want you to come yeah. in here and kill first. I don't want to come kill first. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just looking for a good time. For sure, man. So, oh. heck yeah, we got some work to do. So let's oh. keep grinding. All right, just got up to the spot that uh, we actually found this scrape yesterday. We put in this little food plot here and found this scrape. It comes off of public land. There's a big piece of landlocked public land it kind of comes off there's two trails that kind of come together in this big community scrape so we're gonna put a cell camera on it most likely this is where i'm gonna end up for the opener this is a really cool spot i'm excited to put this camera out and see what shows up here in the next week or so oh man the only downside of these is sometimes those lock up you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. And you can't get them. I don't got the little bushings on there, but. So it's kind of just wherever it ends up without the bushings, you know what I mean? You might have a little sidebar hanging kind of weird, but that's all right. Aiming right here at that scrape. And got a couple trails that kind of will intersect right into that. Got one this way, one this way. How many acres of public do you say that was? I think it was 800. 800 acres? Yeah. And we're deep. Like, this is hard to get here. Like, when oh, yeah. we come here, we go through hell yep. to get back here. So it's, there's a couple of good bucks we had pictures of in the summertime. The last, I don't know, last month or so, but we'll see. Yeah. Hopefully we get some big ones in here. Work is done in Ohio. We worked the last two or three days on this. Uh, piece of property down here in Ohio and did a ton of mowing got some food pots planted got stands hung got cameras out got a ton done I'm excited to get back down here I've never hunted private land in Ohio for the opener so I'm excited for that 
we know this farm has the potential to, to have them here. It's just going to come down to, I don't know, food, a little bit of luck, I guess. So maybe once those food plots start coming up, it'll, it'll drag them in here. So yeah, we'll be back down here in, man, a few short weeks, I think, three, four weeks, we'll be back here for the opener. So it won't be long at all.